Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison. If this is the first time that you are joining, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you have come back for more, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like what you see in this video, I hope you will subscribe. And I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to be filming for you right now, back in my house, in my own space with my family. If you didn't see my last life update, we just had Hurricane Irma and dealt with that that aftermath. We are fine. We just lost power for a little while, but we are good to go. So if you'd like to see how I did this fall inspired look, please keep watching. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. My brows are done, as you can tell. I've laid down my powder, and my eyes are prepped using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula, and I set that with my Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Powder. To start, we're going to do our eyes, and I'd like to say I'm gonna jump on the Pure Soiree Diaries bandwagon, but I talked about this way before BoxyCharm sent out that box that had the palette in it, and this is what the palette looks like. And what I really do like about this palette is the neutrals are not too warm. Like, there's a nice mixture of some warm tones and cool tones in there, and something that they pointed out on their social media page on Instagram is you can get really, really easy looks. If you don't want to think about it, if you just follow Follow the vertical columns. These are just one, two, three easy looks, and I love that. It's just so smart. First, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the trusty Morphe M441 brush, go right into Gala. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right in the transition area. And I wanna make this look not overly complicated. I want everyone to feel like they can do it and make it their own. And that's something that I really want people to understand when they're watching any YouTube makeup tutorial. You don't necessarily have to follow everything step by step. You do you, make it your own. If you don't have the same palette, I'm sure you can find something in your collection that's similar. Or if you wanna find something that's a little bit cheaper, different price range, if you just go online and Google whatever product it is that you're interested in, plus dupe, D-U-P-E, you can find, you would be blown away. But don't feel like, just because you don't have the product product that you can't make it happen. Now we're gonna go in with Splurge, and same brush, just moving a little bit further down my lid, further into the crease. And I always do one eye and the other eye with each step, unless I'm filming a tutorial and trying to save time, but on the regular, that's how I do it. I feel like it's easy to balance out the look that way. Now we're gonna grab my Morphe M433 brush and it's basically the same idea as the M441 but smaller and denser so you'll see it's gonna deposit a little bit more color so it's gonna look a little bit richer on that eyelid. Now we're gonna go in with the Mikasa E310 pencil brush. It's a great packing brush and you'll see what I mean by packing in just a minute. We're gonna go in now with Snazzy which is this shade right here. It's like this really pretty plummy neutral. I love this shade. I'm gonna pop that right here. So placing it closest to the lash line and then blending up, and that's the trick. It's really that layering. If you wanna do something a little bit special, a date night, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. And the more you do it, the faster you get at it. You can't expect to just hit the ground running, especially if you've never really done it before. And if you don't have the right tools, if you don't have the right brushes, that's gonna make your life a lot harder. And you know what? I think I've decided I really love this snazzy color. I'm gonna take it all the way across. It's just gonna be real smoked out. And I'm just tap, 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 tapping, and then kind of doing these circular motions. And the circular motions just help blend everything out. The tapping helps pack on the product and make it nice and rich and pigmented. I mean, these shadows are super duper blendable. You can blow them out and make them less opaque if you want, but I decided to go for a smoky fall eye today. I'm trying so hard to stay away from these warm tones because I always go for those. Oh my gosh, I just gravitate towards them. They're just beautiful. Now I'm gonna go back in with Gala real fast and just smooth everything out. And I'm going with the Morphe M441 again.
just on this outer portion. I'm gonna go in with this deep neutral brown Epic. I just want it darkened up a little bit, just on the outer edge. One, whatever's left, not dipping it in the product again, in the crease. Now, if you're looking at a look and you just feel like your shadows are not dark enough or you're just not getting exactly what you want, grab a smaller detail brush. This is the Morphe M326, and I really just want this outer section to pop. Or I shouldn't say pop. <laughs> I want it to shade a little bit more. I want it a little darker. So I'm just gonna go right in. There we go. And this is me being a perfectionist. Now I'm going to do just a pop of fun in the center of the eye. We're gonna go into Dazzle, which is this one right here. I'm gonna use my Morphe G20. Any synthetic concealer brush will work for this. So once I dip into the product, I'm gonna go ahead and spray with my MAC Fix Plus. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out, I need to get more. I'm gonna go right on the center of my lid and bring it to the inner corner. Ugh. And I can't help it. I just have to do a little bit of this twinkle shade. It's so pretty. So we're just gonna layer twinkle a little bit over it. Again, if you don't wanna do that, if this is too many steps, you do you. I'm just gonna do this one right in the center here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line my top lash. Let's do an oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Eye Studio or Eye Gel Studio in Blackest Black. This stuff is so good. I'm gonna use my Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. And I'm just gonna dip in. And I always like to kind of dot on, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not drawing one line when I do my liner. I kind of tap it on. It's almost like you're filling in your lash line. Connect the dots. And bringing it all the way across. And resting your hand right here gives you a little bit more stability. And I kind of wanted mine a little bit smoky today, so after I had it like placed, you noticed I kind of went back and forth. If you want it to be more precise, just don't do the back and forth moment, just tap it in like that. But I'm feeling the smoked out look. All right, now we're gonna tight line. Same product, same brush, and just push it up. And make sure you connect from the outer corner to the inner corner, all the way across. This makes your lash line look so much more volumized. You just don't want to have any skin poking through. Ow. You don't want to poke your eye out either. That's cute, this little eye booger. All right, and I'm going to do my waterline today. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Just brushing away any fallout. Not that I had a whole lot. I definitely don't want to rest my hand on my face if there's fallout there. Now this in my inner corner is messy. Normally I would go and like clean that up if I was not gonna be doing this smoked out eye, but we're gonna be blending this anyways. So I'm not gonna worry about that. It's all gonna come together in the final look. You just really wanna make sure that you're connected in the corners. Now you can see I'm kind of bringing it just a little over the lash line now. If you're not careful when you do your inner waterline and you just do that inner waterline, sometimes it can make your eyes look really small and beady. So just kind of smudging it out and blending it out a little bit like this helps keep your eyes looking open. It's a little bit thicker too if you can see on the outer portion here. And that is purposeful. Makes my eyes look more open. Now I'm just gonna wipe off this brush. I'm gonna go with Gala again, the plummy tone color. And I'm gonna take that really close up to my lash line. I'm gonna go over where I have that gel liner that we just placed and bring it all the way across. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe E36. It's super precise, it's super small. I love this for so many things, especially when I'm smoking out my lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with Splurge, and we're just gonna go right over. It's almost like we're gonna mirror our upper lid now. And we're gonna make sure that we're connected into the corners here, to the outer V, a nice and seamless look. And now I'm gonna go in with Gala, and just go under that. And then we're gonna grab the Morphe G20 brush again, and we're gonna first go into Dazzle, and then we'll go back over it into Twinkle. Popping it in the center, and over. And you'll notice I'm tapping it. Remember, tapping gives you more color payoff. And now into Twinkle. 
And we're just gonna make sure that we're blended now. I'm going back in with that Morphe E36 teeny tiny brush, bringing it up into the outer V of our upper lid without putting any more product on it. We just really want this seamless and blended. I'm gonna go in with the original L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is so good. I've been using that L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise so much. And when I was cleaning everything up and putting everything back after we came back when the power came on, when I saw this, I'm like, I need to give this guy a whirl again. I mean, I have been using this mascara. Mm, I don't wanna do the math. Since I'm in high school, since I started wearing makeup. Actually, I used to dance. That's something you guys probably don't know about me. If you don't know me personally, I've danced for many, many years. We do competitions, all of that. Stage makeup, pancake makeup. Does anyone else remember that Max Factor pancake makeup? Oh my gosh, that was full coverage. I wonder if they still make that. Okay, now when I apply my mascara, I like to start at the base of my lash line and roll it up. I also normally do my lower lashes first when I'm doing my makeup off camera. When I'm just looking into the mirror and I tend to look up when I do my lower lashes. That way you don't get dots on your upper lid. But you do you, you do how you like. Just a tip. And we'll do our lower lash line. I really like this eye. Hi, Fall. How are you? I'm ready for you to get here. Can you see I'm wearing this turtleneck and it's like 90 degrees outside just for the purposes of this video. <laughs> Living in Florida, you get like one season and a half. It's either 90 degrees or maybe 60 for like two days. After talking and showing you guys about the Soiree Diaries shadow palette that is blowing up all over social media, I want to talk to you guys about the Contour Diaries. This was also in the killer brand You've Been Missing where I talk about all of my pure favorites. Let's go ahead and show you guys how I use it. All right, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and just mix almost all three of these under my lash line, my under eye. Just kind of dip into all of them. The peach helps to cancel out blue. The yellow is gonna help cancel out some of that sallow purple. The peach one is called Flirt, the yellow is called Dream, and this top one here is called Charm. And now Charm is just gonna brighten everything up. And this brush that I'm using is the Morphe M438. I just love how it's thick and you get a lot of product on it, but it's nice and tapered so that you can get right under your eye like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to contour. This is the shade Secret. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe M523 brush. I'm gonna start right here, right by my ear, deposit the most color right here, and bring it down using this part of my iris as a stopping point. Now with whatever is left on my brush, I'm gonna do right through here. I'm just kind of blending. And then I'm gonna switch my brush. I'm gonna get a big powder brush. This is the Smashbox powder brush that they don't make anymore, so sorry about that. And we're gonna go in with the shade Passion to do my bronzer. And now I'm going basically back over everything that I did, kind of taking it a little further up to the middle of my forehead. And then I'm gonna do my jawline real, real light. And I'm using the shade Passion again. I can even mix in Secret. Secret's a, it's cooler. And when I'm doing my contour, I like to keep my contour cool. I've talked about contouring and just the idea behind it. When you're trying to create the illusion of a shadow, you look right here. Do you see this shade that you get between your jawline and your neck? It's almost gray. It's cool. It's not warm. So using strictly a bronzer to contour, it just doesn't look right. So you want to make sure you, you find that perfect cool tone that's going to look good for you. You guys don't hate me. It is time for blush and I am using 
this palette that does not exist anymore. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette that she did in collaboration with Becca, her Champagne Pop face palette, and it's so beautiful. I will tell you the dupes. So to start, I am going to grab my Morphe E4 brush, and this is in the shade Amaretto. If you would like a good dupe for this, if you're gonna recreate this look, the Balm makes something really similar. It's called Balm Desert. It's a blush bronzer, I believe, and it's good. And I think it's actually $10, $11 cheaper than what the Becca blushes are on their own. All right, now I'm gonna dip into Champagne Pop. I haven't used Champagne Pop, I feel like, in a long time. It's this one right here, and I'm using my Morphe M510. I wanted to go for something peachy and neutral with this eye. I'm just go right down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm gonna actually go back to my eyes now. And I'm just gonna do inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use my Morphe M326 and go right into Champagne Pop and do the inner corner. And grab on highlight. And I only take it, if you notice, like right to the center and out. Last thing before we set is lips. And keeping with our fall theme, I think, oh, let's see a hair. This is my, I think, favorite fall color lip. It is the Kat Von D liquid lip in the shade Lolita. And it is so pretty. I have had a chapstick on my lips this entire time just to kind of prep them. If you are gonna be wearing a matte lip, especially a liquid lip, they are drying. In case you've never worn them before, just be forewarned. Now let's set. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and just go to town. All right guys, that completes the look. I really hope you like what you saw. I'll be sure to link all the products that I used down in the description bar below. And if you did like what you saw right about now, you'll see my face pop up over here. Just click it and it'll subscribe you to my channel. And I will also list right here links to me on social media so that you can follow me there as well. Thank you and I'll see you back again next time, I hope.